lightning which is seen during the thunderstorm and has a huge amount of electrical energy in it that can kill a person in a fraction of seconds and this lightning occurs in milliseconds but how the lightning is formed in cloud and how hot is it let's see in the sky as you know that there is cloud this cloud is formed by evaporation of water this evaporated water is light in weight so it travels upward in atmosphere as we move upward temperature decreases and the temperature is about minus 55 degrees celsius so this evaporated water freezes and ice crystal is formed so due to the presence of many ice crystal in atmosphere cloud is formed when there is more evaporation more cloud are formed and this cloud has many ice particle in it the upper part of the cloud contain light weight ice particle and the down portion consist of heavy ice particle as the air is continuously moving there is friction between the particle and the particle get electrically charged the upper part of the cloud is positively charged and the lower part is negatively charged as you know that to flow the current two opposite charge and a medium is required between the upper and the lower portion of cloud air is present which act as an insulator between the charged particles and does not allow the electrical current to flow through it when the charge between the upper and the lower portion of the cloud increases this air insulator does not hold the current and it break down so due to the breakdown of insulator lightning strike occurs this lightning strike is about 1 inch in diameter and has a temperature of around 27000 degrees celsius which is almost 5 times the surface temperature of sun this hot temperature of lightning can instantly vaporize some object when it is hit by lightning lightning can be intercloud lightning cloud to cloud lightning and cloud to ground lightning in intercloud lightning lightning is occur between the particle inside a single and large cloud mostly this type of cloud does not produce sound second cloud to cloud lightning this type of lightning travels from one cloud to another cloud and has a long lightning strike in this type of lightning sound is produced third cloud to ground lightning for a lightning it required a opposite charge particle to flow the lower portion is negatively charged so it searches for positive charge on ground so when it find the positive charge a large electrical current flow between the lower portion of the cloud and ground which produces large sound this sound is due to the instant large heat of lightning which compresses the air rapidly in the atmosphere and a sound is produced this is exactly a same as sprinkling of water on a hot oil which create a cracking sound for some time this lightning mostly occur in cumulonimbus cloud which can grow up to 13 km in height and this cloud is responsible for thunder storm hail storm and lightning so i hope you have understood the whole physics about lightning thank you